Well, welcome back, guys. Um, what we are going to be talking about today is how bad it freaking sucks when you start having a dead battery, a switch problem, whatever, when you have shit that you need to do and it's your only RDA that's running. So, what that meant was, well, as you can tell by my hand, we broke down and we got a pack of cigarettes today because I needed to be in class uh, for this state thing for benefits and everything. They help you get a job and all, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's pretty much a four week class and I go three times a week and I was all ready to go. Oh, you better not. I think it's starting to rain, guys. I'm not 100%. I think I just felt some sprinkles. Yep. Alright, well, we're going to be talking while we pack the stuff up to move, obviously, so we don't get everything soaking wet, because that would just make my day. But what happened was we had the Bonza 1.5 RDA on the Pulse 80 watt and that was jumping ohms all over the place and the reason why I stopped using it on the tube because that's a good way just to blow your freaking face off and um, yeah Bogan you really need to look at that with that uh, 1.5 RDA those post screws are way, way too loose, and the 510 off the peak insulator uh, for the positive post is way too short when it's all tightened up so the post will stop moving. It is not safe to be running on um, tube, especially a hybrid tube on top of that. So I've been running a completely different RDA, put that one on a regulated with the squonk pin in it just because I just didn't feel safe enough running that one on an unregulated mod. And it could just be mine, I'm, I'm not sure, but you really should add a uh, spare peak insulator in there with how much issues it's having with coming loose constantly. Not just once or twice, I mean constantly. On any heavy use, that thing, it, it, yeah, it's a pain. Plus, one of the post screws already freaking broke. How? I've never broke the top of a post screw before, and I'll show you guys that in uh, this video also. And, yeah, these icky sticks taste like crap. You want to know why I'm smoking them, though? It's because I paid over $6 a freaking pack for one this morning because my shit was running like crap. And I didn't have time to mess with it this morning. When I spent a while going through all of this last night. And still having issues with it. And, um, yeah. So, that's what the video today is about. And, yeah, figured I was going to be working on them anyway. So, might as well bring you guys along with. And I've been having a lot of issues with the magnetics in the switch also. The spring is the only thing that I've been feeling comfortable using with it because you can literally feel the voltage drop. You'll be hitting it, you'll be hitting it, and it just stops firing for a second and then it goes back to firing again. It's really weird, but I put the spring in, adjust every the pin and everything the same exact way, don't have an issue with it. So I don't know what's going on there, but that's uh, that just happens with mechs. Uh, other than that, I've been loving my tube. Uh, it's actually my everyday banger. I've dropped it quite a few times, and that RDA is really, really stiff. The finish on it is actually holding up better than anything. Same with the drip tip. I only have one little nick on the drip tip, and that's it. So that's really not bad. Um, it's not raining too bad, but it is starting to get my mods though. So I'll put the mods up. But yeah, so I guess let's go ahead and get moved and we'll continue this. 
height down there. So this is about the best camera angle I'm going to get at this spot right here. Um, and of course, after I get all moved, it kind of stops sprinkling a little bit, but we are expecting some rain, so I really don't want to ruin my phone and everything else by chancing it. So. Now, why was I smoking a cigarette at the beginning of the video? Well, as we all know, that's something that I've been trying to quit, and I was doing really good for a while, and then found out that we had moved. So that's been a toss up and was doing really good. I was about four days clean. And then yesterday, uh, kicked in. Oh, excuse me. Um, yesterday was just an off day. Uh, was having a lot of issues with the builds, um, trying to get a build set in, uh, trying to get the, um, Bonza set up on, the 80 watt and getting the pulse well the pulse was been going and everything I re-wicked it and then I spaced that in I have juice and accidentally hit the button burnt my wick so I had to pull the wick out re-wick it yeah so yesterday was just not one of my days um, and then the top everything off not like I wasn't already having kind of an off day my oldest dog decided hey let's go and eat a freaking bird yeah I don't even know what got into her so she ended up getting her butt whooped yesterday because she's never pulled that and I've had her for like eight years she just she went full massacre on this freaking bird dude it was ridiculous so that happened but dealing with that, and then the class this morning, and the RDA is having issues this morning, I just said fuck it, and I went and bought a pack of cigarettes. I was done with it. I needed some nicotine. I didn't have the time to fight with them. And I had two setups ready for today, and I had issues with both of them this morning. Now, as you can see, I'm running the Bonza on top of the Pulse 80 watt here. I'm running at 55 watts. It is holding finally a solid uh, 0.35 ohm build, and it is just a single core Clapton. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that in there. Uh, single core Clapton, around 2.5 millimeter bit with five wraps. It came out to an okay ohm. It was jumping around all over the place. It was uh, 0 0.42, 0 0.44, 0 0.46. It was just jumping all the place, all over the place. Uh, 0.38. You know, so I already had a setup for the regulated mod. So yes, I could have ran it if I really wanted to because I have the board and everything in there. I I don't like doing that because problems can still occur with your board and you can still have shorts. And everything else so the best thing that I thought of and I was like you know I don't have time for this I don't have time to fight with it I just left it home left the tube home because I was having issues with the switch like I mentioned earlier with the magnetics and I decided to put those back in last night and I said screw it I threw the spring back in it and I actually have it sitting over here but I have to uh, drip on it again as you tell us all, nice and wet. Got to throw some more juice on it, which I have two flavors over here. And I got some juice in this one. I just didn't feel like dripping at the moment. As you tell us, Chuck in the Cloud is pretty good. Um, pretty okay flavor, just off of some single core Clapton's. Uh, the juice we're running in here is. Uh, Mama saying guava pot, I believe is what we have in this one. And then what we're dripping on, uh, we're dripping Cali Cooler Strawberry Kiwi. And I believe uh, the Ripe Straw Nanners is, I believe, what it is, uh, the Ripe Collection. I can't remember exactly who it was from, but damn, it's some good juice. Especially coming off of the Pulse 22. 
some bomb flavor coming off of that thing. Speaking of, let's go ahead and uh, drip some of that while we chat here. First of all, let's get some uh, adult brew here. It is Dr. Pepper on vodka. Um, okay, so we talked about the two. Um, we do need to talk about the bonzo a little bit. That's another reason why I'm dripping here. Now, the only way I can drip in this freaking pulse, maybe I tighten that too tight, holy fuck. Um, I have to take the top cap off, which I like to do anyways, because I like to see where it's going. And if I don't, it just gets all over the cap, and I hate it when it comes back in my mouth. I like vaping, I do not like drinking it. So, yeah, Here's some strong airs. And this build in here is a uh, 0.21 uh, triple, yeah, triple core Clapton. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Nichrome. I don't know if it's stainless steel, but it's definitely not Canthal. It has more of a metallic taste coming off of it. It tastes the build more than anything. <coughs> so, as you tell, well, or not, one of the post screws actually broke inside there. Come on, focus, you son of a turd. Alright, well, you can't really tell, but one of the edges. What the shit is going on at the base today? Um, I went to go tighten it, and one of the things just popped out of there. I got it out. I was having a short with that, but I got all the pieces out of it. It still screws down tightly and everything, so I'm going to save to replace that. I'm not having any shorts with it or anything. You can tell at 50 watts. This thing is just chucking. Um, I turned it down. I was running at 55. Oh, I need to go put a new battery in this. It's not one of those two dead here. So, I uh, finally got it running good. I tightened up the squonk pin. It wasn't really loose this time, which is surprising. Uh, it was the negative post. Uh, the Phillips screw backed out just a little bit, so I tightened that down in there a little bit more. And now it's holding solid at 0.35. Um, I have thought about, I'm running out of Clapton wire. And one of my favorite builds I like to do is um, a dual or a paralleled uh, single core Clapton build. And I don't know if I can actually get it to grip in those posts. This thing hits freaking hard with that triple quarter in there. But, yeah, so, we talked about the issues that we're having this morning, why I ended up buying a pack of smokes, um, hopefully this is the last pack, because I, I can't keep doing these, um, anyways, um, we might be getting some juice from an online, um, shop, uh, it's not a sponsor or anything, it's another, uh, reviewer. Uh, you guys probably know him. Um, he's actually one of the people that got me into building and really got me into the love of two mods and just RDAs in general is uh, Light Designs. Uh, Gabe Smith over there at Light Designs. He goes through Budget Vapors and I've been thinking about going over there for quite some time now so I think I might be making the transition uh, of buying my first online juice. <coughs> Sorry, the cigarettes. Oh, killing me. Tastes like crap. Those were Camel 99s. Those used to be my favorite cigarettes. Oh, they taste so horrible. But, yeah, I think that's all we have to talk about in this video. So, sorry for the short vlog, technically. We didn't build anything or review anything today. But, yeah, hope you guys had some fun. I know I did. 
and I'll catch you in the next episode.